G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo, and I'm bringing you another absolutely fantastic vlog. And today I'm talking to you guys about this. Should you start off with flipping commercial, multifamily, A, B, C, or D-class properties? So let's get it started. Now guys, you've heard me say it before, I'll say it again, and I'll probably keep saying it moving forward. Money makes money. I don't want you guys to forget that. And I want you to prove to yourself that you can work hard, stay frugal, and save fifty dollars to $100,000, okay? Now, for all of you guys out there, guys and girls, that have saved fifty dollars to $100,000, you're probably wondering, what should I do next? Where should I invest this money? You're looking at commercial, multifamily, A, B, C, D class properties, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of gurus out there pitching their own jibber jabber stuff, right? Now, you're soaking up a lot of information, you're doing your research, you're watching the videos, you, you've probably spent six, 12 months, if not longer, on the sidelines thinking about what you should do and how you should go about it. Well, guess what? What I need you to do is I need you guys to take action and I need you to make an investment and I need you to do something right now because sitting on the sidelines, guys, I mean, it, it will give you a certain a foundation to learning the fundamentals of how to do certain things, but it will never give you live experience, right? Practice makes perfect. And even if you're going to lose that money that you're going to invest, yes, I'm saying the L word, lose that money. Um, I can promise you guys that you will learn so much more from taking action and losing that money than spending another six to 12 months or even longer reading online forums, watching videos, attending seminars, and doing all of that jibba jabba stuff, um, that it would just be absolutely mesmerizing to you how much experience and the wealth of knowledge that you will get from actually doing a deal. Now, what kind of deal you should do? I've got no freaking clue. <laughs> all right, I know that sounds weird, but guys, look, uh, this is my belief, right? When you're starting your real estate endeavors, the least amount of money that you can invest will equal the least amount of risk. So if that means buying a D-class property in a rough area for a couple grand, I know I'm talking about a war zone here, um, so be it. Because as I said, I'm a big believer in taking action, putting your money where your mouth is, um, and learning from the experience. Even if it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. Learn from the experience, understand where you went wrong, if you went wrong, make sure that you do not repeat those same mistakes, um, take what you've learned and replicate it and go into another deal and just don't make the same mistakes, guys, okay? So look, uh, uh, let's just say that hypothetically you're looking at buying one of these dirt cheap war zone properties. Have the mindset that I'm just gonna light a match and that money's gonna go poof, but it's gonna be my learning experience. Look at this guy here right now. I'm proud to say that I've lost close to half a million dollars when I started my journey as a real estate investor and I call it my Harvard degree of real estate. The lessons that I learned from those losses have enabled me to be the real estate investor that I am today, to be the entrepreneur that I am today. And I'm currently running two companies that are doing millions and millions of dollars in revenue. And guess what? When you lose two, five, 10, 20, $30,000 on that war zone property, right? Getting your feet wet and starting your journey in real estate, those losses and learning from those losses will enable you not to repeat the mistakes when there's more chips on the table when things get actually serious. When you are indeed doing that $3 million commercial deal or that $3 million multifamily deal, right? So think of it, think of it from that um, aspect. Um, so guys, just summarizing this um, vlog for you guys today, um, what type of asset, or sorry, what type of uh, class of property you should look at um, flipping? Um, I personally think that you should See what your comfort level is, see how much money you have saved, see how confident you feel in your ability and the ability of your surrounding team of networks. Um, and then personally, I think you should invest the least amount of money because that will equal the least amount of risk. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. Um, hey, any questions? Um, any comments, any remarks, any criticism, if you want to tell me, you know, you don't like the way um, I'm wearing my shirt today, whatever it may be, <laughs> please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, until the next vlog, I am Angela Rumora. I'm your favorite Australian and I'm the real estate dingo. You guys have a great day.